Hi guys, happy 2019. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting used to getting in the swing of shooting videos again. This is my second video to shoot this year, and I still feel a little out of practice. Oh, bear with me. I appreciate everyone's patience. Um, so often I get the question from people, or people will ask, um, you know, if my diagnosis was autism or Asperger's, uh, and people generally expect from me to hear that my diagnosis was Asperger's and then um, are often surprised when I tell them that my diagnosis is officially autistic. Uh, and so let me kind of explain um, why that is. Um, it depends, you know, on a lot of factors. Uh, one of those big factors being uh, where you are in the world, and another big factor is how recent your diagnosis was. Um, I am a late diagnosed adult in the United States, and here in the United States, I believe it was 2013, um, I'm not 100% sure on that date, so I could be wrong, but it has been a few years since they stopped diagnosing people with Asperger's uh, you know, where in, in my part of the world. Uh, there are other countries uh, I hear from people or other places where Asperger's is still a diagnosis. Um, but in general, uh, it's, it's being phased out in many parts of the world. Um, some people who were diagnosed younger may still have this Asperger's diagnosis. Um, nobody's going around stripping anyone of their, um, their diagnosis. Uh, and nobody's um, trying to say if you uh, have the Asperger's diagnosis, you know, have to call yourself autistic if you don't want to either. Uh, although, you know, there are still some people who were diagnosed uh, Asperger's who now actually do uh, call themselves and label themselves autistic instead of Asperger's because it is all included under one umbrella now. Um, and there are too many reasons to get into in this one video as to uh, why the separation between the, um, the the diagnoses have been eliminated. Uh, one big thing is you know it was based a lot on uh, speaking and speech development, and uh, that can be kind of a misguided um, way to diag uh, way to um, categorize someone uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, so, you know, they've kind of, many, many people have come to the conclusion that this is not helpful, and so they've merged everything under one um, autism diagnosis uh, umbrella. Uh, so th that that's just um, a very, very extremely brief overview uh, of you know, why, you know, when people ask me if I'm autistic or if I have Asperger's or what my diagnosis is, uh, my diagnosis is, is I am autistic. Um, and that, and that is because I, I where, like I said, where I'm diagnosed, when I was diagnosed, uh, the recent diagnosis. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, listening. I hope I answered this question because this is a question I've gotten um, multiple times and I can't always respond back to each and every single question so uh, some of the ones I think I get more often I'm going to do videos on. Uh, so anyway guys thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye!